All right, good morning, all. Another semi. It's not too bad. Of course, we're expecting. There we go. We're expecting more snow here. And I we'll just go home. Kind of. <laughs> a little bit of jet lag there but anyway so nonetheless we thought we'd um, we get the show on the road with the um, new diaphragm for the carburetor we closed our inspection this morning and you'll have to excuse the uh, noisiness of the uh, But it is necessary, so... Okay. Um, like I said, I got the new bulb there. Primer bulb assembly. And what I want to do is... Um, expose the spring. Okay, so it's, it's in good shape. Yeah, that pretty uh, sums it there. Uh, the amount of uh, well, I need a micro screw, but if I picked that this long enough, I'd probably go right through it. And, um, you see this little valve here? I don't even know if I can zoom on this. Um, this one, yep. You see? Oh, maybe I can zoom on this. All right. As long as I don't look at the lens. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, she's uh, she's pretty messed up. The ends are really ah, that's where it's torn. Yeah, I'd say that's a good reason why that machine don't want to run right. Okay. Alright, I got you guys set up on the workbench. And, uh, well, really what I should do is actually take a, take a pick at this. Well, there it is. say you know did you catch on <laughs> did you catch on that the uh, gasket wasn't in the right place did you did you I'm just wondering I got a speck of dirt right beside the spring it seems yeah I do how did I get in there Oh yeah, okay, hang on. I'll get you guy out of there. There, just like that. And if some of you find it amusing to watch this video, more power to you. There we go, just like that. Kind of a patient game. Yep, and this little flap. This little flap right here. That's where you're building up here. Awesome. Now it's gonna work. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like learning, guys. Okay, let's throw that in there. Gonna line up the uh, gaskets with the uh, putting a screw on the top edge corner. All right, let me show you this way here, and that way there it keeps your gasket in place, which is the big important thing to do. One bolt on each corner, and 
It'll hold your gasket in place while you place it on the top of the gas tank. Just like so. So there. I found it funny earlier that uh, when I tried the primer bulb, um, it wasn't creating any suction at all. And now I can understand why. Yes, Joan, we're going to play baseball in your room, yep. You get that big of a room. There we go. And... Now with a number two Phillips screwdriver, so I get equally tightened uh, Phillips heads on that. That's one. And this one. There. Now, perhaps I can show you now what I want to show you. take the belt the uh, the blade off from underneath there is causing quite a bit of vibration that's not too bad guys I got it I got it to stay running so thanks again to Mike and um, we'll shit all and everybody who took the time to comment uh, with uh, Possible this, possible that. I do have an issue with a little bit of gasoline coming out of the uh, the gas cap. However, I will replace it uh, on my next trip to uh, to town. There's a new primer bulb assembly, new primer bulb that's working good. So I reinstalled all the components on the engine, and it's working properly now. So that all my next step now is to. Uh, I tip the unit on the opposite side of the carburetor, which is like this. And um, get this uh, blade totally coming out of the unit there. Uh, have a look at that. See what's up with that. I can, all, I can almost see it there, Ed. Right? Back in there, she's kind of got a twist to it. So we'll go look after that right away. Well, I can't do a thing with this. <laughs> I probably could spend a little bit of time trying to figure out what's... Uh, but she's got a mean... A mean twist to it. Um, so, I mean, at this point there, the... Cutting blades are not too, too bad of a shape. However, they're not that great of a shape either. So, um, I mean, to do a job, uh, I'm going to replace it. It's, it's, it's twisted very, very bad. When that unit got here, um, this, this piece here was actually hanging down, uh, straight, straight down. I did straighten it out some, but I do notice when I run the unit, um, let me go that down a little bit, when I run the unit in the, uh, in the shop here, um, there's quite a bit of vibration, um, on the, um, on the handles, so, um, I mean, how far do you go, um, I'm going to, I'm gonna put the money into a new blade, and I do believe that I do have, might have some spare ones in the, uh, in my other shed in storage, so I'll uh, check that out. If not, I'll just purchase another one, 
Uh, there shouldn't be any any vibrations on that thing at all. Um, just go over here. I'll show you this how my way. Of course, it's not the best way, but um, you want to balance your belt. You want to balance your blade. I keep having a tendency to say belt there, but it's blade. Okay. Now this unit here should be totally facing the other way. If it was balanced. You guys can correct me if you're wrong. If I'm wrong, rather. But if the whole unit was... I'm holding it there now. But if the whole blade was uh, balanced, it should actually stay like this. Okay. But if I let it go, let me just reposition here. If I just let go, um, they, you know, no balancing act there. Um, <laughs> what's your take on it? Leave it in the comments, guys. Tell me what you think of that. <laughs> and, uh, again... If you haven't subscribed subscribe and um, I do take friends request on both the uh, the V E non R E J channel and the Maple Green production channel but I will not become friends unless you sub <clears throat> that way there is beneficial for me and it's beneficial for you so Thanks for watching. You guys have a good weekend.